I love when my husband does husband things, like cutting the grass. But alas, he likes doing this one thing where if there's a bunch of rocks with grass growing in between them, instead of going and getting the weed whacker, he'll just take the lawnmower and like hover it above the rocks. A and that doesn't always go as planned. Here, like, let me show you, okay? I know we got a lot going on over here. Got a spork spray paint. Someone's pants are right there. Ah, the other lawnmower. Look, like look how dinged up they are. These are brand new, by the way. I can't afford to buy new blades every time he does this and having an open and honest conversation and asking him to stop, <laughs> please. If only I had a device to make anything that I modeled. So I took apart my lawnmower and used Onshape, a super convenient web-based CAD software to model new lawnmower blades. This sounds like a great, as I grab this blade, a great place to tell you to uh, not do this at home. Well, that's why we're in workshop right now. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. But you know, you, you could have probably gathered that uh, from some of the other things that have occurred. That guy and that guy. Is this okay? Is this an okay thing to do? I mean, when you think about it, like, what do these blades normally cost? Like, 20 bucks or something? This is like eight cents of filament right here. This is living like Larry. All right, we're starting a little bit. <laughs> Send it. <laughs> it didn't explode. Can we cut grass with it? Uh, I, I'm, I'm a little scared for my shin. So I, I'm trying to find something to wear just in case of an emergency. Now, are these gonna actually stop anything? I don't know. I think that is like one of the lowest settings. No, that's the lowest setting. Ready? We were doing so well. Hey yo, trying again. It's working. It's a hundred, it, it's not working. I raised it up a notch. I think it was stalling because the, the blades, they're just not strong enough. There's too much resistance and you know, they're so. Uh, we're, we're gonna put these in there. They're a lot thicker. They're like five mils thick. Okay, it's not dying. And it, and it doesn't look as ugly. It definitely cut more. I mean, there's a lot more like clippings everywhere. This works. Should you do it? No, but it works, yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought this was gonna be a lot more catastrophic. Plastic blades works. 10 out of 10. Would recommend? Not, but, but it works. I have an idea. This is filament, Polymaker Polymax PLA. Not technically a 3D printed item, but it is filament and maybe we, we, we could put it, uh, I'm just curious, okay. Ha! Oh, oh. Yo! Is it still on there? <laughs> I kind of want to try TPU. And for the few of you that don't know what TPU is, it's a flexible filament that printed things such as. Oh my gosh, what the heck, what? Bro, look at it, it's warping, bro. It's getting so hot. Ow, it's fine. Why is this working? This, is, this video is supposed to be about things that I shouldn't do. You know, it, it kind of goes everywhere when you open it up, but it's not as bad as I thought it would. Yeah, so uh, I definitely wasn't wasting company time while I was browsing Reddit. 
But uh, I came across this post on here and it has my name, address, phone number, social security number, date of birth, my cat's name, the taxes that I didn't file. Y you didn't file your taxes? Yeah, no, I, I owe a lot of money to the IRS. Ooh, ooh, what? My car's VIN number, my blood type, they even have my Roblox username from 2008. Oh, okay, okay. Do you have a VPN? Uh, a what? A VPN to keep you safe when you surf online. You, you should use Surfshark as the best VPN out there. Oh yeah, I know. I thought you didn't know what a VPN was. No, I just really like sharks. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, see, Surfshark protects your identity online by encrypting the info sent between your device and the internet so cyber criminals can't get a hold of your Roblox username. Okay. It masks your IP address, your download history, and location aren't actually linked to you. Their clean web feature blocks malware and phishing attempts, and it blocks ads and trackers too, so you can stay safe while surfing online. Another cool thing about Surfshark is you can change your virtual location. So if you want to say watch a Netflix show that's only available in a different country, bam, change your location and now it's available to you. So if you're interested in Surfshark, you can go to the link in the description and use code EMILYDEAL to get three extra months free. So be sure to go check them out and thank you to Surf Shark for sponsoring this video. Wait, this is an ad? Okay, so Dan said he had an idea of something that we could do with the plastic blades that was even bigger. So I I I don't I don't really know what he meant. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. There's blades. Three of them. Dan brought forth this. Um we're gonna see if this does anything at all. Oh yes, this is this is gonna be good. But yeah, we replaced them uh, with plastic blades, the same exact blades that were on the other bad boy. So uh, we should be able to cut three times the speed. Is this just a just this a video about cutting lawns? Is it working? What? No, <laughs> that's clean. Right, so this was at three and a half. We're gonna drop it down to what, three? Okay, now we're just ruining my grass. We're gonna put it back. Something fun about this guy is uh, it, it has a super fast mode and I'm just gonna floor it. Dan, I'm, I'm just gonna go cut my grass now, okay? Uh, okay. Bye. Bye. Look, you can see the clear difference. Everything is still in one piece. This one's actually more stable. What other things do we have that have blades? Loppers, not to be confused with uh, the Whopper song I've been singing all day. They're kind of scary. Um. And I did say I wanted to switch out another blade for plastic, and then this this is this is a blade. Okay, several ADHD moments later, uh, it has a plastic blade now. <laughs> Just the portion that was sharp, and the portion that holds it right there, that little block. Those two are printed now. <laughs> well, we'll start small. I'm gonna start small. All right, ready, ready. <laughs> oh no, it bends. Steak. It snapped along where that bolt hole was too. I actually thought this block was gonna go first. What else has blades? This is a rear tine tiller. It's a machine that every average American owns. If you're not from here, that is a lie. And, and people use it to till the ground so they can plant stuff. It also has blades and a, we're gonna print them because the last side quest didn't work and now I wanna make something work, but it might not go the way that I want it to. So these are the actual tiller blades and these are the printed ones. Here we go. Oh no. no! Only one of them broke? Push that drag stake up. All right, play time's over. It's gonna dig deeper. Oh. No! <laughs> yeah, uh, I mean. Is it gonna be stuck? 
<laughs> oh no. I bet my neighbors are really concerned about the status of my yard right now. We've got gaping holes from the lawnmower. We've got other weird strips from the other lawnmower. And now, now we got this. Dude, we should start a business. Go to our Etsy shop today to get your own plastic blit. How much would we actually have to charge to make a profit? 20 bucks? Oh, okay. Well, go go to our shop to spend the same amount on plastic blades as you would on metal ones. 